looking live outside. Snow covered Indianapolis. Sure, not as much snow, mm -hmm. but enough that you know my morning drive was uh -huh. slower than normal. Yeah. And thankfully, it did melt a lot. Right. So there weren't That's a lot of news, issues. Right? Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joining us now. And you said, Ashley, this was going to be a tricky one. Yeah, absolutely. Tricky um, because of the temperature trend yesterday that we talked about being in the 40s. You know, we were always expecting to be on the low end of those totals mm -hmm. um, at around 4. We fell short at about 3. Um, but if you would have measured this morning at around 9 a.m., I think we would have gotten a little bit more. But every hour from warming to 33 to 34, we've just been melting away. Mm, slushy. Um, very, very slushy yeah. uh, snow. Our, um, our crash totals are way down, too, though. Absolutely, you know? which is good news. Yeah. Um, but I would watch tonight, you know, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, as we could see some isolated slick spots. Temperatures are not incredibly cold, but they're cold enough to cause a few problems. Uh, most of the watches and warnings uh, advisories have all been canceled. We still have a few to our north, south bend of Fort Wayne uh, until around 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Um, I think it's going to drop off early because when you look at radar, there's really not much out there or much reason for these warnings as we are starting to see travel uh, actually improve. Um, um, you know, we promised 48 inches. Yes, we fell short of it, but not much. You know, Indy, we told you it'd be closer to four. We were at 2.8. Um, you look at some locations uh, north mainly, you see those higher totals, four, six, uh, even 3.4 in Fisher, Shelbyville, 3.2. Um, these totals, it's a decent snow, right? It's a snow that's all good to travel on because it's so wet and so slushy and that it's melting away. Our temperature trend overnight never really dropped below the freezing mark. We were at 32 at our coldest for about two hours, but most of the morning we were warming back and forth, which means this was a very wet snow that was melting almost immediately as it was falling. As we look at January snow, now we have some snow chances in this forecast before the end of the month, um, but we should be at eight. We're not going to get there. You know, we're going to end January at about four inches falling short of what we should see for January. Um, several snow chances moving forward here. And as we kind of get a view of what's happening for us, Right now, at this moment, I can tell you that the temperature trend is continuing to hold steady in the mid-30s. Any activity out there, what you see in light blue is very light flurry activity to drizzle. It depends on where you are and what the temperature is. Further north, this is flurries. But around Indy, this is more patchy drizzle. When you add that light rain or patchy drizzle on top of the snow that we have, we continue melting. So, yeah, it's going to be a night of slushy snow. Ponding on the roadways and overnight, we'll deal with some refreezing with isolated slick spots. Right now, we're at 34. Our temperatures have been um, above the freezing mark for much of the day, and we see that now, 34 degrees, but it feels colder. It currently feels like it's in the 20s out there. What about the snow? Um, scattered flurries tonight, mainly north. I think we'll keep some action around throughout the night, but not much. Um, as we continue to see this system kind of break apart in the overnight hours, we'll see cloudy skies for you tomorrow, but also chances for snow in your Thursday forecast. Nothing that really sticks, but it's out there. Tonight, holding steady in the 30s, dropping down into the 20s overnight, but briefly, right? We're talking about dropping below freezing. We're only about four degrees below. Um, so as far as refreezing, that will not be a widespread issue. It's going to be an isolated issue for us as we just don't have the time. We're not below freezing for that long. I think we bounce back by noon tomorrow, seeing numbers at to slightly above the freezing mark. Some sunshine peaking through, giving us more melting, but also some light snow out there for us at that time. Friday's forecast, 36. Once again, the chance for flurries, that's not changing this forecast. But 36 is a little more typical for this time of year. It's near normal for us. And we'll keep that near normal trend going for the weekend. Okay, so this weekend, kind of a tricky forecast once again. Saturday warming to 39. Saturday night pretty late, rain arrives. On Sunday, rain will transition to light snow. Right now, this looks like a minor non-impactful event for us, but we'll see more snow. And snow showers, of course, uh, will bring some colder air by Monday. The Buick, eight-day forecast. Temperatures over the next eight days, saying the trend just colder, right? Next week, the chilly air settles in as we'll see daily high temperatures in the 20s, not the 30s. And yes, a few more chances for light snow.